And the first one, I want to thank the organizers for having wanted to have me in this session and for your work and, on, and organization. And finally, I have changed a bit my explanation because preparing the communication, I found a, a topic I wanted to develop. It's, I'm going to talk about the, re the reflection of social organization to the necropolis, but focusing on the role of women and their participation in commensality and festive activities. Uh, well, I want to do a, um, a contextualization of the Iberian culture. Um, um, I know I'm aware of many of you uh, know it, but I'd like to do a little summarize about, about the Iberian culture in the south of the, of the Iberian Peninsula. This culture uh, spans to the 7th, 6th uh, century before Christ until first century, after the arrival of the Phoenician community to the peninsula and the contact with the inhabitants of the final bronze culture, some economic, social and symbolic aspects changed. In addition, within this culture that occupies the east and the south of the peninsula, there are different regions with similar characteristics but also with some, with some differences. Mm, this culture is characterized by an outstanding sculpture in which both important women and men are represented in what indicates power shared uh, between women and men. Also have a large num uh, number of bronze votive offerings that the inhabitants deposited in the sanctuaries that have been found uh, throughout the territory. The Phoenicians introduced the ceramic on potter's wheel and as the century progressed, the decoration was changing. Starting in the third century, uh, the use of a figurative decoration with representation of people in different activities of, of life, especially uh, women doing um, textile activities. And the first inscriptions in the Iberian language have been also found, even without transcription, which is in the most cases are related to, to commercial transactions. And this is the most important set, uh, settlements and necropolises in the southeast of the uh, southeast of the Iberian Peninsula during the seventh and the second century before Christ. The the feast in the Iberian world has been very presented in all research due to the presence of elements related to wine and its uh, its production and distribution. And for it, from different parts of the Mediterranean, productive structure for the production of wine and also a Greek pottery that has been related to the celebration of different types of banquets of festing. Uh, both celebration in settlements and funerary fest associated with funerals. By assimilation to the Greek ritual, ritual of the symposium, it has always been considered that women would not part participate in it. However, we haven't archaeological evidence to demonstrate it. Uh, the written sources uh, hardly mention uh, Iberian banquets and yet the Greek pottery with which a priori the banquets would be celebrated is generally present in settlements and necropolis in different spaces. In the, in the settlement celebration will take place in common open uh, places or in a large building uh, intended, uh, intended for this purpose. In the domestic spaces, we do not find rooms with the typical characteristics of a Greek andron where only men would be. And in addition, in the Iberian society, the domestic space is very much represented by women, as Alba has said, and in all aspects, they will uh, carry out economic and social activities in the same way, uh, way as, as men. Besides, we find differences with the Greek celebrations of the symposium. For example, in this case, the, um, the craters uh, are found as funerary urns in many tombs, a fact that does not occur in the Greek culture. Another difference is that Iberian feasting do it, not only drink wines. In fact, but the majority of the imported pottery is also used for, for eating. And we also find similarities with the Etruscan banquets with elements used in these societies. And here in the Etruscan um, society, 
women do participate in the banquets, so why not in the, in the Iberian Wall? At the moment, we have no archaeological answer to deny it. And here we have uh, some examples of Greek craters used as funerary urns, which will indicate a different differences in the ritual used in, in this species. <clears throat> and we also find a large amount of Iberian pottery imitating Greek forms. So that not only Greek pottery will be used for banquets, but again we find different and not strict uh, celebration rituals as symposium in, in Greek uh, culture. <clears throat> And we here you can see more a uh, uh, imitation of Greek crateras at the necropolis of El Cigarra Alejo used as funerary urns. Well, uh, until now, uh, gender and feminist uh, feminist archaeology in studies in Iberian society on the peninsula has generated a great deal of information. For some time now, this uh, kind of research has been considered. Uh, essential and has mainly uh, advanced our knowledge of women in Iberian culture. We know now that women possess it great economic and social power. We find a um, brace of women with very powerful grave goods, in some of them even with weapons that generally are associ associated to, with men. In addition, there was a system of bin bilateral inheritance shared by men and women which we know about thanks to the double graves. Many of the of women's tombs are in prominent position within the, within the necropolis, inaugurating new spaces and organizing the subsequent um, graves buried there. Likewise, economic power is also reflected <clears throat> in a very important activity in this society, which was a textile production. It was mainly women who carried out the most important tasks related to this activity, which generated great uh, social prestige. And now we want to go further and open up new lines of, of research. In, in this case, to study the commensality, the commensality celebration and the possible participation of, of women in them. To do so, we are going to focus mainly on elements that we are certain that were used in the, in the first things. Therefore, the, uh, we will focus mainly on the presence of Attic pottery in, in the necropolises as close uh, contest. In our case, the necropolis of the Iberian period, the burial ritual is carried out by, by cremation. Well, this is the, um, the necropolis I'm going to focus on in the conference. I have chosen these because they are the ones for which we have the most uh, data on sex um, graves and where the archaeological record provides the, um, the best information. The first one uh, we are going to talk about is the necropolis of Les Cassettes with a chronology between the end of the 7th century and the end of the 5th century before Christ. This is the last phase in which elements of Iberian culture as such appear and where we find the first um, Attic pottery. In front of these tombs, there, uh, there were a castle caps, and we know that at least one of them is a woman and another uh, one is uh, of an unknown, unknown sex. Therefore, from the very beginning, we can see that uh, in graves that stand out of their grave structure and the place they, occup uh, they occupy in the necropolis. Elements of the banquets are represented in, in female graves. The next necropolis, and one of the most interesting, is very close to the previous one in, an, in, in another sector. This necropolis was begun a century later, and the, the graves represented here fall within a chronological range between 525 and 425 BC. Uh, of these, only six contain um, skeletal remains, and all of them are women. In front of them, we find Greek pottery, such as castulo caps, fish dishes, handle bowl, uh, bowls, together with gold and bronze earrings and, and rings. The most spectacular, oh, sorry. Oh, yes. the most spectacular uh, piece is an Etruscan uh, colander, 
There are very few similar ones in the Iberian Peninsula, and this data indicate that, that probably all these women, in addition to having prominent social position and probably some kinship relationship, uh, all of them participated in infesting. <clears throat> The necropolis of uh, Cabezo Lucero, uh, with a chronology between five, uh, 500 and uh, 330, is one of the most spectacular of the period and where more attic pottery and weapons have been found. To date, uh, more than 90 tons have been published, but there are still many unpublished uh, tons for which we have hardly any data. Most of the sexy tons are male. Here in, uh, in the plan, we can see a, uh, uh, with a circle, a red circle, some of them marked with attic pottery. And two of them are for, for women, uh, 14 and 78, from, a, from the middle of 4th century, and another one. In this case, is uh, the, um, the town 79 and uh, 79 A and B, uh, which is formed by two adults, possibly a man and a, and a woman. Once again, we find imported pieces uh, related to, to festing. The necropolis of Coimbra del Barranco Ancho, later in time, between the 4th and 2nd century BC, we also find the same pattern. Male, female, and couple tombs. Uh, the tomb uh, 70, probably female, is one of the most important uh, graves in the, in the necropolis. <clears throat> and has uh, an outstand, uh, outstanding grave gods. Both uh, tomb uh, 97 and 128 are also female and contain attic bowls. Tomb 91, again consisting of two adults, male and female, also has uh, outstanding attic pieces. Uh, the same happens with uh, the grave 150 consisting, consisting of two adults, with an extensive repertoire of significant attic pottery, such as bolsas or acantaras. The last tomb in this necropolis, uh, tomb 153, is a female uh, grave, and in this case, there are also weapons in the tomb, a falcata, an iron spear, and the remains of a shield, as well as gold and bronze jewelry. <coughs> The last of the of the necropolis is El Cigarralejo. This is uh, once again one of the most important necropolis and perhaps uh, the largest with the longest chronological framework from the end of the fifth to the first century BC. From it, we have selected the female sexit uh, grace for which we have uh, data in uh, sewing Arctic pottery and also five uh, couple tombs. Uh, two of which are among the most important in the in the necropolis. The graves uh, 130, 141, and two, 213, uh, three female uh, gra uh, graves have a small incurving uh, ring bowls, Lambolia 21 and 24, as well as the grave 125, in this case is a, a double tomb. And we also have uh, two other graves, in this case, uh, a couple graves, number 200 without the skeletal analysis and number 277, both probably uh, formed by two adults, made and female, with an incredible and very rich grave goods with all kinds of pieces, among them many elements related to textile activities. In this case, this will be uh, the attic pottery that will have accompanied the tomb balls, cantarons, long-standing caps, etc. And once again, Tom... Uh, yes, uh, the grave 277 also has a very important grave gods with weapons and jewelry, as well as the tumulu that forms it. In terms of attic pottery, we have uh, fish dishes, bowls, bolsas, and also some imitation kilics in, in Iberian pottery. As a conclusion, uh, we can indicate that uh, the feasting elements uh, are found in, uh, in both male and female uh, graves indistinctly, that women had an active role in preparing for the staff and also in consuming, that furthermore, 
this increases the um, the knowledge we have about the, the the women at this time, which again demonstrates the power they had in social and economic and economic activities and uh, social relevance. And with with all this data, we should avoid continuing with anthropocentric cliches when we have no um, scientific evidence to support them. And finally, um, we have a problem because uh, we have a uh, uh, we have cremations, and and that uh, that is that um, being cremation necropolises, we are missing a lot of data because we don't know the sex of the tombs that we cannot improve our research data, and that's it. Thank you very much.